Australia's love affair with the Ute has changed. Where we once turned to two-door versions of the Falcon and Commodore, today's Ute of choice is the dual cab pickup. Demand for these more versatile Utes is booming, and not just for tradies. A greater emphasis on comfort, luxury and safety has seen these Utes transform from a workhorse into a primary family car. Case in point is the Ford Ranger we're driving here, which isn't only one of Australia's most popular Utes, but Ford's best seller. And it's not hard to see why. While you can buy stripped out workhorse versions of the Ranger, this more expensive and more luxurious wild track version is quickly becoming the go-to choice for Aussie families. It's roomy, practical and ticks all of the safety boxes too, thanks to optional kit like a lane departure warning system, collision warning and radar cruise control. Ford has also added more sound insulation and worked hard to improve the Ranger's refinement to ensure it feels just as comfortable on suburban streets as it does on the work site or off-road. Wild track pricing starts just shy of 60 grand, and for that you score a powerful 3.2 litre five-cylinder diesel with 147 kilowatts and 470 newton metres, the choice of a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic, and unique body styling. It's nice and luxurious inside too, and there's plenty of equipment, from heated seats to 18-inch alloys, parking sensors and a reverse camera. There's also a lockable hardcover for the tray, multiple USB and 12-volt ports, and it's handy off-road too, thanks to standard low-range gearing, hill descent control, a lockable rear differential and an 800mm weighting depth, which is one of the best in its class. On the road, the 5-quad diesel is decently refined at speed, the electric steering is one of the best in its class, and while the ride can be a little bit fidgety without a load in the back, it's still comfortable enough to use every day. So what about downsides? Well, the diesel engine can be a little bit gruff and a bit noisy at low speed around town, and while you're driving in the city, there's no escaping the fact that this is a big and heavy car. It's also quite expensive. This automatic version is over 60 grand, which makes the Wild Track one of Australia's most expensive utes. As an all rounder, though, there's no denying the Ranger's appeal. It's roomy, it's comfortable, it's capable off road and on, and while it mightn't be quite as polished as a conventional SUV or a station wagon, you can't throw a ton of stuff into the tray of one of those. As a whole then, the Ranger is one multi-talented beast. Little wonder it's so popular. <laughs>